And now, the conclusion. That was the worst puppet show ever. Shh. Sure self. The little girl in red came upon a crossroads. There she stopped and wondered, which way should I go? Up jumped the wolf and gave the poor girl a fright. Do not be afraid, I'm not gonna bite. One of these paths with danger is fraught, while the other one, most assuredly, is not. The little girl in red took a shortcut she knew, through a lovely field of corn, all covered in dew. Mountain dew? But the field grew dark and full of despair, and the eerie sense of dread filled the morning air. The girl heard the wolf yelling from afar. You have chosen poorly, you will not get far. Had you only learned how shadow and light intertwined on canvas, you could have chosen right. The little girl in red ran as fast as she could, her flowing dark hair tucked under her hood. But she quickly got tired, worn out by her flight, and succumbed to the darkness, never to see the light. Well, that's a nice cheery story. This doesn't make me want to paint anymore. If anything, it's the opposite. Well, thank you for that lovely, uh... That's a cardboard cut snake thing. Interesting. What's down here? Let's follow these chicken... Chicken feet things. Uh, seems to be going this way. Oh, the snake's behind me. Come on, you stupid train. Pass! Okay, so the train doesn't want to pass. But it looks like there was something over there. Caught the midnight train going anywhere. Just a certain girl. Oh, I can go around it. Ha! Sucker train. Nobody loves you. She enjoys being with her mommy, apparently, and her dad is with the paintings, the evil Satan with the paintings. Yeah, that kind of stuff messes a child up for life. Okay, I think this whole area was just for a bonus doohickey. Let's go back to the beaten path. There's a snake and it's gonna bite me and I'm gonna fade to black. Nope, I wasn't worried. I escaped my fate. For now. What about the other direction? What's down here? This is such a freaky, weird section. What now? More apples. Always more apples. The apples look absolutely terrible. Anything on the tree? <laughs> Seriously? That was the thing? I'm up on the tree. What? What? Not you again! Okay. Titans. Well, I guess now I'm never going down. I'm gonna live up here. What is even happening? 
Oh, you're cutting the, the tree down. <laughs> oh, dude, you calm down with that. Why me? Well, there's a crayon there, so... I guess now I know what to do. Are you trying to annoy me? This is not what I've taught you. At this point, yeah, I'm trying to annoy you. I don't care what you taught me, Dad. I'm not living your dream, Dad. I have my own dreams, Dad. Where am I going, Dad? She said that her mother died, or the idea of her mother dying, or... Oh, boy. So, uh... Can I get out of here? Ha ha! Stupid tree! I tricked you! I didn't really trick you. You let me out. Because the game was scripted to let me out. But let me, let me, let me pretend like I tricked you. Where is my canvas? I don't know where I'm going anymore. This is such a weird, confusing mess of a, of a, of a section. I'm following the light. There we go. Damn, that's morbid. Okay, before the snake comes. What? You think I'm enjoying this? You think I'm doing this out of spite? Get it right next time and I won't have to fix it for you. That's really pretty though. But I guess it was him that fixed it. Okay, game. I think I've had enough with this section. You've kind of overstayed your welcome in my opinion. Isn't this the place where we found... Well, that's creepy. Did my dog die? Like, I feel like these sections kind of miss what made the original game so great. This is kind of like all... Like, it stops being about how the house is changing crazily all around you. And it's just like these abstract, weird hallucinations and uh, honestly I don't find them that interesting so far I told him nothing I can read like I find being around the house and grappling with your own sanity inside the house and how the house changes and seeing things differently than what they actually are I think that's infinitely infinitely more interesting than just being thrown into this hallucination thing that I honestly, like, I understand the point behind it, but it's just not interesting to me. I'm sorry. Can we get out of here, please, now? Thank you. Bears. It's always bears. Wow, really? You gonna do me like that, bear? Is there anything else around here that I'm missing? No, it doesn't look like it. Ugh, what about this direction? Or have I already been down here? I can't remember, it all looks the same. I have been down here. Well, this is gonna be a lovely session for you. Foul walking around for 50 hours, not knowing what to do, like a total scrub. I don't want to use that, I want to reset the section.
if that is what it does. I want to go full crayon. I'm going to have to boost the brightness on this quite a bit. What is happening here? What am I supposed to be scared by? All I see is weird chairs. Like, these paths aren't even leading to anything interesting. <laughs> Ooh, cool. I am in Crayon Land. Is there a crayon anywhere? Yeah, I can't go down that far. Snake, eat me! Yeah, I guess the snake just pretty much resets you. Okay, I'm gonna go... I think this is a new path, is it? Here we go, here's something. Nice of you to pop in. You're Thank doing you. this on purpose, aren't you? Yep. Screw you, man. Just wanna play with my crayons. Whoa! The big bad wolf. That is creepy and gross. There! I hope you're satisfied with yourself. Very much. Stop crying! We'll pick this up tomorrow, and I swear to God, I better start seeing some progress. Looking back, I don't think my father ever really wanted a child. <laughs> it's no wonder I was never truly allowed to be one. No, no, what he wanted, above all things, was a successor. Someone to carry on his legacy. Anything else was just a distraction. Ooh, is that hinting that that door should now be open? Mmm, interesting. I want to see what's behind it. Hopefully it's a better section than the one we just went through. I mean, I'm sorry if you liked it. It looked interesting visually, I guess, to a certain point, but there was no gameplay. It was just walking... I guess you could argue that about the whole game, but... It was just... not interesting to me. Let's see, this, I think this is the final section. So, after all this time... After all I've been through. Stay here. Your mother and I need to talk. This is all you have for me? And of all places, you chose this room. You think I don't hear that? Stop crying! Don't make me come in there. So many memories. This, this one room filled with more memories than I can count. I thought I told you to be quiet! Oh, the lovely memories. I imagined him standing there, all smug and pleased with himself, thinking this piece of canvas was somehow going to fix everything. I imagined what I would say to him, what I would do. My daddy... shouldn't have. Um, you probably said something on. F oh, okay, yeah.
Are you going to kill her off seriously after all that? What? Okay, well, I guess that's one of the endings. I'm assuming there's multiple endings. Uh, maybe if I tried to paint more like my dad wanted, I'd get a different ending. I, I don't know, but that's what we got. And yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so the game in general, I mean, the, the whole game, uh, I, I liked it. I liked it. I feel like it was marketed a bit more towards psychological horror and honestly I did not feel that vibe during the game. I felt it was mostly jump scares. There were so many jump scares and jump scares when done sparingly can be really effective but when you expect them after every corner they kind of lose that that touch that makes them really so effective and it's the same with, with the wife really I, t I talked about this during the, one of the videos it was like Alma in Fear 2 where they just threw her around every corner at you that you started to expect seeing her and she lost that shock factor and I don't know I, I, I feel like they could have done it more effectively they, they said this was like inspired by PT in some way but I think PT was much more subtle about everything like it made your imagination be your biggest enemy because everything could be so terrifying and when it did scares it did them so sparingly and I feel it was a better representation of psychological horror but I will say that I enjoyed the main game much more than in the DLC the guy seeing his descent into madness was kind of fun actually or rather interesting I should say not fun uh, just seeing how the house that you're you're living in just morphs around you and these little rats that only he can see in his head turn into such an epidemic like I felt those were really cool touches and this is the stuff that was absent in the in the DLC in my opinion because it just feels like they threw us into disconnected areas we're walking through memories but I felt they were really disconnected from anything happening I mean they might have been the imagination and nightmares of her as a child or something but like that last section in the dark walking down past like nothing really happened I didn't I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like it at all that last session. I thought the sections of her being as a child were more interesting, but they were still too dark and it just, I don't know, they just throw you into these abstract worlds and expect something to happen. That's not what made the game so interesting, in my opinion, in the first part. So I guess that's it. Um, one other thing, when you realize that you can't die in this game, or rather there's zero penalty for dying, that also takes away some of the touch of fear. Because it almost feels like a roller coaster at that point. It's just like a linear house of horror. You just go in and things pop out at you. And I guess, I don't know, I really, I really hate this term. Like walking simulator, I really hate this term to use it. But I think this is like a scary walking simulator because there's almost nothing to do in the game other than pick up items. I mean, say what you want, but in Amnesia, for example, there were some puzzles, at least the original Amnesia. You had to go pick up items, find items, put them in other places, figure stuff out. At least, I don't know. It's a different game, I suppose, and they're going for different things, but in my opinion, they didn't really nail the psychological horror more than they did nail the, the, the jump scares, and it felt kind of cliche to be honest in some areas so I don't know I thought it would be better but I'm not saying it's a bad game I'm just I guess my expectations were somewhat higher so yeah I'm really interested to hear what your opinions are on the story on everything and especially on inheritance of DLC I, uh, I, I I told you already how I feel about that so and if you have any ideas for something short I can do in the next LP tell me I'm, I'm looking for something short to be honest right now because as you've noticed, my schedule is kind of messed up, and I, I, I really, I really don't have much time to do this because I'm moving next month out of Germany, and lots of things need taking care of. I need to go to Berlin to get some documents, and it's it's all just a big mess. So, till next time, I hope you had a great time, and take care. Bye bye. <laughs>